night, sweetie. Well, it's Saturday, the last member preview day, and we are here yeah, to, we are. to ride to ride Jersey Devil again. Paul's not going to ride, but John's going to ride for his first time. I'm going to get on for my second time, and who knows, maybe I can get more rides in. Um, I have decided that I am going to attempt to ride Jersey Devil Coaster 130 times by the end of the season. That is my goal for myself. A uh, little challenge, so you guys stay tuned and we'll see if I can make it happen. But uh, for right now, oh, I forgot. Hello and welcome, everyone. Let's go ride the devil. Update on this uh, kitty area. Uh, they're really uh, digging it up over there. So it's going to be good to see whatever whatever they have planned for this, which I believe is going to be the old kitty coaster uh, possibly renamed Little Devil. Awesome. Okay, so before I get to me and John and Jersey Devil, while we were on Jersey Devil, Paul was off riding some <laughs> rides. What were you riding, Paul? It's off on Crazy Train. And Crazy Train. And how many times did you ride them? Crazy Train once. Uh, and deja vu? How many? Three. three? Yeah. Whoa. It was fun? Yeah. And are you going to go ride Dark Knight now? Yeah. John and I just got off of um, Jersey yeah. Devil Coaster. And um, when we first got our wristband and got in line, it was broken down. So we waited, what would you say? Half hour. You think? Maybe half hour tops, I guess. Um, but I'll tell you what, they're running four trains today. Four. Wait a minute. You can't see my face. Four trains. They're running four trains today. Um, that's really exciting to see. I am loving that. Can I have those glasses so I don't have to see your face? Shut up. Um, so, oh my gosh, but now I'm squinting. I gotta put them back on. Anyway, so they're running four trains. It is amazing. They're doing a great job. Um... Once they opened it back up again, the line moved really, really fast. Really fast. We wound up getting separated, though. He got on the last car, of uh, the last seat of the train, and I had to go on the first of the next one. Um, so this is ride number two for me on Jersey Devil Coaster. I am not super fond of the front seat. <laughs> I, it was... It, it's definitely good to experience, and let me say... I enjoyed the last seat. Well, and, and I have to say that Wednesday, I thought this was a really relatively tame ride. That was wrong. That was wrong. Um, it is. It, it, it was just... She was running wild today. It was wild. Um, I was out of my seat a lot. And, I wasn't, though. Yeah. Um, and it was very fast. It was faster than it was on Wednesday. Um, so, holy cow. So, babe, tell us a little bit more about your Jersey Devil experience. My Jersey Devil experience was really cool. Like she said, I was in the back seat. <coughs> uh, it was one of the few rides that I actually felt safe, leaving my hands up the entire time. And I actually did, like, the entire ride, except for the first drop. That is a doozy, but it's quick. And it, by the time you think, oh, my God, you're done. So it was really fun. Uh, everybody was thrilled and clapping and cheering the whole way through. Uh, I'm going on it again and again and again and again. And you guys already know how I feel about that again and again and again. And like I told you uh, during the opening of this video, I do plan to try to ride it um, 130 times before the end of the season. I chose 130 because it is 130 feet tall. It's a 130 foot drop. So feel it. That's what I'm. That's what I'm gonna try to do. So you guys stay with us, stay with the channel, and see if I'm able to complete that 130 ride challenge on Jersey Devil Coaster. So we're all going to the dark night, and just as a reminder, <laughs> you do have to wear a mask when you're inside anything, even if it's an inside ride. You're you're so cute, Molly. There are a lot of people without them. Oh, yeah, there are. There are 
some lot people with. more than with. Wow, y'all didn't notice that until you pointed it out. Yeah, there's no one's wearing a mask compared to the staff. Interesting, very interesting. Very Fury free the captured members of the League and return the city to order. And the Joker is obviously on his ride. Right. But we believe they're holding Supergirl, the Flash, Green Lantern, and now Wonder Woman. Are you ready to ride Justice League? Yeah. Are you ready to ride Justice League? I'm pretty excited. So, I don't know if I missed the memo or something, but nobody, pretty much nobody is wearing masks on indoor interactions. This is the second one. And so we just thought, well, if you can't beat them, join them. And nobody has said anything. So, I don't, I don't know. I mean, I guess we'll just, we'll see what happens. I don't know about stores and restaurants yet, but um, hmm, very weird. I think it's very weird that I didn't hear about that. So maybe it was just an unspoken spoken thing, but we are not wearing a mask on this ride because yeah. we weren't told to and nobody else Even the ride operators are wearing them. Yeah, so that could be new, but be prepared for the mask anyway just in case somebody tells you to put it on. Okay, so I think John and I are going to try Po' Boys. This is new this season. So they have a shrimp Po' Boy, a Cajun chicken Po' Boy. Uh, they have gumbo with rice. They have fish and, trip, chi bleh, fish and chips and shrimp and chips. They also have beignets, which I'm super happy about, and red beans and rice. So, And those are all on the meal plan. Okay, so I went with the Cajun chicken uh, po' boy, and it doesn't look too bad. I mean, okay. And it comes with some jambalaya. So that's what the jambalaya looks like. And um, I'm going to let you guys know what it's like. And John got, let's show you what he got. John got the shrimp po' boy. So I'll have to have him tell you what it's like when he tastes it. So I thought that the um, chicken po' boy that I had was very good. Um, the sauce that they put on it, like that Cajun spicy, whatever, it's, it's very, very good. Um, it was just enough. The rice was really, really good. It's making me so full, but before we leave here, I think I'm going to get beignets because I like them, and if we leave here, I don't think that we'll come back this way, and then I won't get them, and then I'll be really upset. So I think I'm going to get me some beignets, and um, with that, I will turn you over to John. The shrimp po' boy was really good. Uh, had a lot of flavor, like, like my wife said, the, the sauce was really good. Just Cajun enough, spicy enough without it being uh, too much. Overpowering, it was very good. And what'd you think of the rice? Right, that was very good. Very, a lot of flavor. Mm hmm. Uh, tasty. Yeah. And filling. Very filling. And it even had a slight kick to it itself. Um, a little, yeah. Just enough to say, yeah. Mm, yeah so good. you can get the rice and beans um, by itself with a snack credit, too. So if you just want that, you can get that. And I mean, the cup of it, you know, it's a decent. And it was a full cup. Yeah, and it was packed in there. It was packed in there. They weren't playing. So very, very good. Dear, I'm getting my beignets. Goodbye. Polly, what are you doing? Nothing. I'm getting my beignets. No one cares. Paul, how was your chicken fingers and fries? I love them because you put on say the first time. <laughs> so because I forgot to ask you, you're just not going to tell me how it was. Dad can because he had them. I think I think they were probably regular. Dad, how about you right. tell mom? The fries and the chicken strips were regular. Yeah. Okay. They were pretty hot and good. They were good and hot? Yeah. Okay. Paul, I'm getting my beignets now. Got my beignets. And I have to give a shout out to Quincy at Poe Boys here. He is working his little butt off and he's so pleasant and just, he's the kind of guy that you want working with the public, especially food service, like he's just sort of got, he's got a flow. Um, and he's really, really good. Very personable, very nice, um, just as, as, as courteous as can be. And he's really working his butt off. And I just got a shout out to Quincy for sure. You're doing an amazing job. Um, and in the meantime, I got my beignets here. Let's, let's see those. Yummy. 
so I'm gonna eat the sugary goodness right now. These beignets are really, really good. Here is how flaky it is inside. Really, really, really good. Yeah, was it awesome? Yeah. Did did you ride with somebody? It looks like you made a friend. Yeah, I did. Yeah, was it awesome? Yeah, but they was but that person was yelling forever. She was yelling forever? Yeah. So it was a good ride. Wow! <laughs> okay, so we're getting ready to ride this and I don't remember this. I think because we never come back here. Anyway, it looks kind of cute. So I forgot to tell you guys that um, that kitty ride, that was insane to get in and out of. It was like, it was crazy. It was like, it wasn't even a seat. It was flat. So like you're in there flat and your feet are straight. It was just, oh my gosh, why did I do that? Why do I torture myself? But we did it and we had a good laugh and it was fun. Now uh, John and Paul are uh, getting ready to do deja vu. I had enough round around in a circle for a few minutes. 36 and 48 inches must be came back over to get another ride on the devil before we leave and she's down again. Hello devil. How are you? So they are e -backing. It's been at least 15 minutes since I've been here. They are e -backing off of that brake run up there. And they already e off of the last brake run. Those people already walked off. And then I looked over and they are e this this section as well now. So I don't know if I'm gonna get another ride or not. Okay, and now they're starting the conga line down the spiral staircase, it looks like. Yep, there they go. If you were evac off of this around 3.30 in the afternoon, you might be in this video right now. Let me know in the comments if, if one of you is up there. Tell you what, if I'm going to be evac and it's got to be not on this last break run, that would be the place because the, uh, the um, lift hill, no thank you. I would not want to try to walk down that spiral staircase isn't much fun either. There they go. Some more peeps going down. I don't know how easy this is to see on camera because the sun is like right in this direction. So what do you do when you're waiting for Jersey Devil Coaster to uh, clear and uh, start back up again? And the only bench that you have is in the sun. These are, this is the only choice. Well, you grab a white claw, of course. I've never had this before. It's very, very good. And I do like grapefruit. So it's, very, it's tasty. I like it. It's refreshing because it's warm in the sun, but it's otherwise a very beautiful day. All right. So they're, they're starting to run the trains again. I'm going to wait and see if they actually load people, then I'll grab a locker, finish my white claw, and 
I'm heading on it. I'm telling you, I'm doing this. I just got off of my third ride ever on Jersey Devil Coaster, and um, you can probably hear her behind me. And uh, row seven, very good row. I like that row. That was a good one. Um, so much airtime. Um, when we rode it on Wednesday, not a lot of airtime. I thought it was very mild and tame. Um, yeah, that I, that was wrong. That was wrong. And there goes the lift tail. You can uh, hear that going here. I'll tilt you up. can be a very terrifying ride, but so much fun. So, so stinking much fun. Um, great ride. So that's my third ride of 130, so we'll see what happens. Um, let me turn you guys around so you guys can watch her go before we go. While I was doing my Jersey Devil stuff, Paul and John went over to the other side of the park and what did you ride? What do you think, guys? We got wet. We did the log clean. Oh, Dad. <laughs> I wasn't going to say that and it told me. Oh, okay. So what did, and then what did you ride after that, bud? Um. Didn't you ride Mine Train? Yeah. Sky Zuma, right? Yes. <laughs> How many times did you ride that? I, I was one to guess and toast one. To guess in the comments below? I think it was this many. I think. So not one sure. face is free. Yep. Okay. I tell her tomorrow. So now, actually, I can take this out of my hair now because I don't need it. Um, so, yeah, I'm just fixing my hair. Oh, whoops. Sorry about that. So, um, Paul is collecting rocks, apparently. He like he likes rocks. So, um, this music is loud. Sorry, guys. Um, so, we are going to go ahead and do two more rides. Well, Paul's going to try Skull. He's going to try to get on Skull. And John and I are going to go to the bumper cars, because we never get to do the bumper cars. And um, we're going to do that, and then probably go, I think. And if I heard correctly, Jersey Devil is down a again um but uh ah, it is what it is it's you know it's opening weekend essentially so but running four trains all day i didn't see less than four trains all day so that is amazing um all right so let's go get these last couple of rides done so john and i just got done rubber cars and this little guy disappeared over here to the jolly roger he got his ride on skull and then we saw him come over to the bumper cars talk to us and then he i don't know what he's saying um and then he we saw him come this way so we knew he was going to the jolly roger little booger head bumper cars was fun always is i like it the classic it's very enjoyable yeah, so much fun. We we bumped each other. Like yeah, it was finally. good. It's been some you and I've been on the mirror room together. Yeah, this but time this time, time, time yeah, time. yeah, it was good. It was it was definitely good fun. Wall. Yeah, it was fun. Yep. That I haven't been able to get for you guys. Um, this store is called Head of the Line. It's like hats and sunglasses, and I've showed you the store before. It just didn't have a name, but now it does. So, Polly, did you have a good day today? Yeah. <laughs> and what was your favorite thing that you did today? Log flume. Log flume. Yeah, yeah, that was a lot of fun. So much fun. Especially huh? being very fast. 
Yeah, you were in the very back, so that was a lot of fun. Yeah. Cool. Only the last swamp is the one we got soaked. Yeah. Oh. Yeah, Dad got um, right leg soaked. But other than that, babe, it was pretty dry the whole way. Babe, what was your favorite today? Honestly, I think it was bumper cars. Cool. An old but classic. Uh, you can't go wrong with bumper cars. And uh, overall, the day, you enjoyed yourself? Very much so. We did a lot today. We really did. It's, uh, what time is it? It's like 6.30? You have a phone. Like 7.30. Oh my gosh, it's 7.30 already? Yeah. Oh my gosh. Well, dang, we should have just stayed till they closed. Yeah. Holy cow, I had no idea. I don't think this old man could have done it, though. I did not realize it was that late. I think we got in line of bumper cars at 6.30. Wow. Holy cow. Just that so, yeah. Service. So, we got here around 9.30. It is now 7.30. We are leaving. There's a lot of other people leaving, too. Um, but it was, it, was a, it was a beautiful, beautiful weather day. It was. Um, if it was hot, we would not have stayed. No. That is for sure. It was so, cloud covered without being dreary. Yeah, so we just sort of did what we wanted to do. Like, it was fun. Um, as far as my favorite part of the day? <laughs> do we have probably, to say? Probably that devil. That devil. Um, yeah, I loved it. I love it. Um, so I officially got my third ride in two for today but three total so uh i'm pretty happy about that and um i think that's gonna do it i hope you guys enjoyed the video we certainly enjoyed being here and putting it together um yeah it's a lot of work putting the video together <laughs> okay dear uh, <laughs> <laughs> All right, guys, until next time, we're Spencer's Ventures. We're going to see you in the next video, and we're out of here. No, we're not out of here yet. I almost forgot. Hi, Doreen. Hey. <laughs> Thanks for saying hi today. It was nice to meet you. It was. Um, I hope that you had a great ride on Jersey Devil Coaster. Now, we're out of here. <laughs> Bye. Bye.